This might be a little bit last minute, but better late than never. So today is Friday, it's Friday afternoon, and Sunday is a certain special celebration day. It's Mother's Day, and my beautiful, lovely wife is just next door. She works from home, so uh, we've got to be a bit secret squirrel about all of this. Anyway, I thought for a nice gift, amongst other things, I would give her a little handcrafted piece of wood, which I'm sure she'll be very excited about, otherwise known as a cheese board, a little platter thing for putting your cheese and nibbly bits and your grapes and crackers and yum yum. However, we are on limited time and we must keep this very secret, keep it under wraps. So that's why we're whispering in the garage. An auspicious day looms. Gentlemen, tomorrow is Mother's Day. Ensure that everyone in the family provides me with suitable gifts, or there will be consequences. Of course, my honey tulip. I'll warrant those two good-for-naught daughters have forgotten again. Meanwhile, at an underground gift shop... Please, something for mother. We're desperate. The masked merchant keeps his treasure tucked away. But come, my lovely damsels, run your eyes across my fancy vases. Later that evening, back at the family home. I don't know about this vase, Candice. It looks kind of shonky, and I think Mother will go ape shit. Well, what else do you suggest, Ramona? Everywhere is shut, and there's no delivery this late in the piece. Goddamn mask moron. Dash. That's a nice piece of Remu. That's a nice piece of metal. Eh? Nice. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. That could be cool. A bit thick, but we can rip that down a bit. Okay. Sweet. Alright. <laughs> do we have here? Now these little pieces of wood I was originally planning to make into an electric guitar but after a bit of research I discovered that this kind of wood, Rimu, is beautiful to look at but is it's not the best tone wood but it's perfect for making um, things like chopping boards or cheese platters. I'm loving this grain here. Okay, first order of business is to uh, make this a bit thinner. It's a bit, a bit heavy. Oh, I love that grain. Okay, my wife just left, I don't have to whisper anymore, oh, oh, hang on, take two, ah, uh, right, my lovely, wonderful, beautiful wife has just popped out for a little while, she's going to see some friends, Friday night. Uh, so that gives me a bit of a window of opportunity to make a bit of noise.
Nice. Don't know if you can see that grain swirling around. Yay. Now I could uh, attack this with the hand plane, but I'm just thinking all this grain going in all different directions, it's just going to give me lots of tear out. So I think we'll just soldier on with a bit of the old belt sander. Lovely. All right, I'm back. I had to take a break and go and make the world's worst pizza for my kids. World's worst pizza. That's what you do when your wife's not around, and that's why they invented Mother's Day. Very nice. All right. Yeah, the old thingies.
you know, I often wonder how many thousands and thousands of hours of footage there is on YouTube of people sanding pieces of wood and people cutting pieces of wood with saws. Fascinating stuff. You should check it out. Any self-respecting uh, wood working channel should cater for people who uh, really desire to watch as much footage of pieces of wood being cut and sanded. It's just, it's the bomb. It's the stuff, man. You've got to watch it. This is my small contribution to that uh, great, great uh, legacy of democratic video self-expression of woodworkers. Ooh. I know, it's too much. I'll, I'll, I'll have to turn the camera off. It's getting a bit... Yeah, you don't need to see any more of this. Okay, this is going to be the fun part. Now, because this is going to be uh, well, food oriented in its purposes, uh, we'll need to use a finish which is food friendly. Oh, it's oh my god! Cover it up! Nothing going on here! Shh. Nothing going on here! <laughs> hey, I'm going to walk to you. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't think so. Not last time I went out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. She spotted it. She was looking in the direction of the uh, work table with a questioning look on her eye, but um, I had it covered up. I don't think she saw what it was, but I think she might have been a bit suspicious that something was going on. Where were we? Oh, yes. Um, food friendly finishing oil on this. And so, my favourite to use in these circumstances is good old EB e extra virgin O E V O O food friendly and it works just fine. But, uh, oh yeah look at that. Look at that. Now that's some lovely grain. Yes. Whoa. There we go. Yeah, good coating. Just gonna suck it up. Suck it up, piece of wood. Before. After. Yeah, but I could see that in some amazing restaurant. You know, camembert there, grapes, nibbly crackers, pastrami. Oh, yum. Just to smooth it off a little bit more. Is this some kind of pathetic joke? Time we got rid of these sad creatures and their sad Mother's Day gifts. It disgusts me. We'll toss these two trinkets down the old well with their ugly bars. <laughs> Suddenly, a stranger bursts in. I'm here to rescue you from these evil rascals. And give you a 50% refund? It's that jerk that sold us the f***ing vase! Where's your mask, pretty boy? And so, Mother's Day is rescued. Game's up, bozos! Now we're gonna have us a nice little Mother's Day party you won't forget! Buckle up your britches, you ingrates!
Okay, so there it is. Look at that lovely grain. That's going to make a lovely gift. You too could do this for your beautiful mum. Come Sunday morning, she will be delighted to receive this glorious piece of wood and all its faults and homemade -ishness. Cheese, crackers, lovely yummy bits, cheese knife. Mm. So I'll make sure I'll include a uh, nice piece of camembert with the gift and some grapes and some other, you know, etc, etc, etc. She said no chocolate this Mother's Day. She said, you know, I have to save her from herself. So, kind of, it's not chocolate, but there's still a bit of a fat content in a slab of camembert, but what are you going to do? It's Mother's Day. Mm -hmm.